Joseph, thanks so much for your time. I mean, just perhaps uh, begin with uh, telling us your view of the role that science and technology plays in quickening the rate of industrialization in Africa. Well, thanks very much for having us. I think you, you said it. Um, it's about comparative advantage, but obviously wanting to move towards a competitive advantage. And in there, we heard about diversification. And if you talk about diversification, you're talking about moving into a knowledge resource-based uh, economy into a knowledge economy. Um, so, so that means that science and technology becomes a critical component to that dynamic and to that, that narrative. So you can't industrialize without necessarily uh, focusing on uh, science and technology and making sure that you begin to support um, technology development, you support commercial development, you support um, you know, human capital development in the critical areas of um, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So it's, 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 it's a critical part of industrialization. I mean, we're talking about African unity right now for the Renaissance. I mean, what is the Department of Science and Technology in South Africa? What projects are you currently busy with, uh, with uh, integrating the African continent a lot more? So we um, primarily focus on Africa cooperation, and it's one of, our, um, um, it's one of the, the portfolio that is quite active in the sense that um, we work a lot with our counterparts, uh, other ministries of science and technology, uh, to support a cross-border collaboration in science and technology. And this has been in many areas, for instance, in biotechnology, in renewable energy, um, in, in indigenous knowledge. Um, and this is, is to ensure that as a, as a continent and as, um, as we move towards this uh, regional economic integration, this integration, we also integrate ourselves. So we believe that we, we stand a chance of fostering a national systems of innovation. So we have to strengthen our science system. But at the same time, we believe very much in this uh, idea of regional systems systems of innovation, of continental systems of innovation. But for us to be able to do that, we need our knowledge drivers, and these are our people, our innovators, to be able to talk to each other, to access each other. We need to be able to co-generate knowledge with each other. We need to be able to co-exploit knowledge with each other. And, 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 and I think it has been mentioned many times that Africa is rich. It's, it's, um, it's, it's rich, but we have not been able to exploit our own resources for our own advantage. And this is what then drives us in the sense that we need to be able to come together to, to, to exploit this. Uh. I mean, talk to me about uh, what the uh, department is doing to really, I mean, strengthen the role of technology between other departments. Because I imagine it's quite a, a big task that you guys have. You can't work in isolation. I mean, we need to talk about technological advancements in health. We need to talk about it in mining. We need to talk about it in all spheres of government. I mean, what work are you doing to strengthen that? So I think there are two levels at which we work. So, for instance, we work within the broader um, uh, the broader. Um, outcomes-based system of the, of, of the government. So within our planning systems, we, we, we ensure that we input into other government departments in terms of the kind of research agenda that we pursue. For instance, we pursue a research agenda in terms of the, our bioeconomy strategy. We ensure that that necessarily contributes to the health sector, for instance. So that is, that is one level. But I think the, the biggest level that I could indicate is the fact that we are trying to foster these national systems of innovation. And this is where, for instance, we bring in a different players within uh, the South African system um, to ensure that there is integration across across the sectors and that uh, technology, and you'll agree with me that uh, technology and science, for instance, is a cross-cutting uh, topic. Mm -hmm. And so it's important that we work within that national system of innovation. We have to strengthen the science system, but we have to ensure that as and when the researchers in the universities are conducting research, when they are, um, are producing knowledge in the, in the universities, in the science councils, that also fits into uh, policy uh, imperatives of government, policy objectives and policy goals of, of government. So it's, 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 it's really in the main how we strengthen and we coordinate the national systems of innovation to ensure that there is uh, vertical integration, there is uh, horizontal integration across the board. So w we look at it from that perspective. And what about, what about the conversations that are being had with the Department of Education? Because we heard right now that we've got a skills uh, gap here in the, the continent and we have uh, critical uh, thinking that needs to be taught, we've got problem solving that needs to be th uh, taught, we've got robotics and all other skills uh, for uh, being ready for this fourth industrial revolution that aren't currently embedded in our, uh, our current curriculum. What about conversations with uh, the Department of Education? I mean, how far are we in getting, you know, uh, AI being taught as a, as a, as a subject to schools? 
I think it's very critical, and you are absolutely right, that these are areas, that these are new emerging areas. In fact, um, uh, in terms of foresight studies, it's indicated that the future jobs will be in those types of areas, for instance, data analytics, and it's, a, it's quite important to begin to engage those type of, uh, those type of topics. But of course, we, we live in a particular context. Um, there are certain priorities that we have to start dealing with, and you know that we have, uh, um, um, in, in terms of our unemployment rate is structural, um, meaning that there is uh, a lot of unskilled people, but at the same time you need to absorb them, means that you need to work up on skilling and reskilling people, but at the same time also not losing sight of what is coming into the future. And so we, we, we do engage with the Department of, uh, of Higher Education, uh, with the Department of Basic Education, uh, to ensure that um, you know, uh, things that uh, precipitate um, the type of skills that is required for the future, for instance, ICT, is beginning to be infused at, the, at a much lower level. So that our people begin to know, for instance, primary school kids need to be able to, to, to do software uh, or, or programming at a much earlier uh, time than, than wait for the future. And I think it's, it's, it's a conversation that, you know, we have to have it and it has to happen within the context of uh, South Africa.